Hello there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. I am back with part two of my 10 cards one kit using the Simon Says Stamp limited edition Valentine's Day card kit. If you missed the first five cards, you can check those out in the video that I posted yesterday. So let's jump in here to card number six. I'm starting out by trimming out three different sized hearts from Paper Tray Ink Simply Chartreuse and MFT Sour Apple. I cut out about four of each color. And the hearts that I'm using are from my MFT Blueprints 32 kit. So as I mentioned in the previous video, I have gone ahead and off camera stamped out all of the little critters from the stamp set uh, using Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink, and then I colored them in with my Copics. I will have the colors Copics that I use listed for you on my blog post. And here I've taken these hearts and I'm laying these out to form the leaves of the tree that the sloth is hanging from. And I got that inspiration by the actual hearts that they had used for the leaves on the branch in the stamp. I thought that was really adorable. So I'm just going to lay these out to get a sort of tree leaf shape and just varying the colors as I go. So once I had all of the larger hearts down as a base, I'm going to take some of the middle and smallest sized hearts and place those around as well. And I will use my sticky thumb pop dots for a few of them. I just kind of varied and I think I ended up with five, two of the medium and three of the smaller hearts that I popped up. And then I did add a few of the medium hearts around as well that I glued straight down uh, with my art glitter glue as well. Once I had all those down, I did go ahead and trim around just to get the excess off of the card base. Here I'm going to stamp my sentiment for the front and I went with Hung Up. I'm using my VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And then I grabbed a piece of that Simply Chartreuse and I'm going to stamp out the sentiment on you. For the inside, I'm using a Nina panel trimmed to four by five and a quarter, and I'm gonna stamp out the sentiment, will you be my Valentine? For that on you sentiment, I've trimmed that down to about a quarter of an inch wide, and here I'm adding some eighth of an inch score tape behind that. I'm gonna go ahead and angle the edge of that. And then I'll peel away the backing and go ahead and place that down. For the inside panel, I had a few of those smaller hearts left over. So I'm gonna glue some of those down and add some leaves on the inside of the card. And then as I was gluing these down, I realized that my sentiment somehow got slightly off. It's not quite centered. So I'm gonna take that and I will just trim about a quarter of an inch off of the side as well as the bottom. I'll go ahead and add some ATG to the back of that and then I'll place that on the inside of the card base. And that will complete card number six. For 
card number seven, I have pulled out these adorable llamas from the ephemera set. And I've lined them up here. I'm just gonna have a little bit of each one sticking off the edge of the card base. So I'm gonna glue these both down using my art glitter glue. And I'm just using my ruler there to make sure that I've got them lined up and their feet are running along the same line. Then I grabbed a scrap piece of black cardstock and I'm gonna stamp out the sentiment, you make my heart pitter patter. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that with my powder tool and then I'll stamp that using my Versamark, Versamark ink. And then I'm gonna add some Simon Says Stamp Fine Detail White Embossing Powder. So I've gone ahead and heat set that and then trimmed that down. I'm adding some foam dots to the top portion of my heart and then some art glitter glue towards the bottom. I'm gonna place that down here in between the two llamas. And this is a way to get dimension on both things, but to only still have one layer of dimension. So I'm gonna grab my foam tape and I'll place that behind my sentiment then I'll peel that away and I'm going to place that along the bottom of the heart. For the inside, I am on my usual Nina panel trim to four by five and a quarter. I'm going to stamp out that sentiment, I love you. And then I've grabbed a piece of this red and pink heart pattern paper, trimmed off just one row of the hearts, added some ATG behind that, and I'm gonna place that along the bottom of the panel. Then I'll add some ATG to the back of the panel and place that on the inside of my card base. And that will complete card number seven. So here for card number eight, I wanna have both of these hedgehogs, um, but I'm gonna have the hedgehog with the flowers on the front of the card, and I wanted to have the hedgehog with the letter on the inside of the card. Um, so I'm gonna have sort of a peek through window here, uh, but I wanna make sure I have this lined up so that you can see both of them, even when you're looking at just the front of the card. This will make sense, more sense in a minute here. <laughs> So I've gone ahead and laid that out so that I could line up my die. And this is the MFT um, square shaker window die. And I'm gonna go ahead and trim that through. Now I've placed down the panel on top of the front, just the front of the card base. I'm gonna run that through a couple of times here to make sure that it cuts all the way through. That way my window and my panel and the window in the front of the card will line up perfectly. I'm also going to use this frame die. This comes with the same square window shaker die and that will fit around the window perfectly. So I've trimmed that out and I've added some eighth inch score tape behind that. And then I'm going to go ahead and place that and that'll be the frame around my window. And now I'm again lining everything up. So I wanna make sure that you can see both of them and his flowers aren't blocking her little face. And I'm gonna add some art glitter glue behind the back of him. Now, when I used my scan and cut to cut these out, I cut out the colored pieces and then I also did one more cut so that I would have the same exact size, but just on some plain Nina cardstock. So I've gone ahead and add, added some glue to the back of that and I'm gonna place that behind so I have a nice clean um, surface on the back and you can't see the coloring through that. So next I'm gonna go ahead and add some foam tape and I'll add that all along the back of this panel. 
and then I removed the backing. I'm sorry my head gets a little in the way here, but I wanted to make sure that window was perfectly lined up. And I'm going to place that down here on the front of the card base. Now, <laughs> don't do what I did if you're going to create this card. I completely forgot to stamp my sentiment before I put that down, and I should have done it before I did the foam tape. I got really lucky here. Um, I would not ever recommend doing this, but since I knew that I had placed a bunch of foam tape behind that, I thought my surface would be okay um, since it would be nice and even and it, it worked out for me, but I, I never recommend actually doing this. So I've stamped out that sentiment, I prick you to be my valentine. So now I'm going to go ahead and add the little girl hedgehog on the inside. Now I didn't want to glue down my inside panel just yet, so I'm holding that in place with just a little piece of post-it tape. I'm going to add some art glitter glue behind her and then I'll place her in using that window so I can line everything up and I'm just making sure that her feet are nice and straight. Next I've grabbed another piece of that pale peony cardstock and I'm going to stamp out the sentiment, you make my heart pitter patter. I've trimmed that down again to about a quarter of an inch and I'm going to place that along the bottom of where she's standing here. I turned off that excess, added some ATG to the back, and I'm going to place that on the inside of my card base. And that will complete card number eight. So here for card number nine, I'm going to again work with a bunch of the pattern paper. As I mentioned in the previous video, I loved this paper. I just thought it was so pretty with the mix of the pinks and the reds. So I've laid this out here on top of a card base. I'm just going to kind of angle this striped paper, leaving a little bit of that blue peeking out along the edges. And then I'll go ahead and trim off the excess. I've got about a two inch strip of this floral here. I'm going to place that down going across probably about a half of an inch up from the edge of the uh, bottom of the card. Again, I'll go ahead and trim off that excess. And then I've taken these little fox ephemera and I've sort of pieced them together um, so that they're snuggling instead of separate. And I've added a bunch of foam dots all along the back of that. I'm going to place that here down on top of this pink and white polka dot pattern paper. And then I'll add some ATG to the back of that and place that on the front of the card base. Again, trimming off that excess and then I wanted to add in a little bit more of that darker pink from the floral so I've grabbed my um, this is some MFT Razzleberry cardstock and I'm stamping out the sentiment I adore you want to snuggle using my VersaFine Onyx black ink I trimmed that down and added some ATG to the back of that and I'll place that here underneath the foxes Since the front was so busy, I kept the inside fairly simple. I'm just stamping out the sentiment, Happy Valentine's Day. Again, on my usual Nina panel, trim to four by five and a quarter. I'll add some ATG to the back of that and then place that on the inside of the card base. And that will complete card number nine. I'm keeping card number 10 really simple. I loved this floral pattern paper. I used it on one of the cards in the previous video as well. And this is what I had left over. So I'm adding some ATG to the back of that. I'm gonna place that right along the bottom of this gray card base. I'll trim off that excess. And then I've got one more piece of those Nina stripes that I also created in the video yesterday. 
I'm going to add some eighth inch score tape to the back of that and I'll place that just along the top of that floral paper. And then I've got two hearts that I pulled out from the ephemera pack. So I'm going to place this pink polka dot heart down directly on the card base using some of my art glitter glue. And then for the lighter heart that says kiss me, I've added some pop dots to the back of that. And I'm going to place that here just overlapping the other heart slightly. For the inside, I have my usual Nina panel trimmed to four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to stamp out the sentiment hello. I'm again going to grab an extra piece of that pale peony cardstock and stamp out the rest of that sentiment you had my heart at. I'll trim that down to a quarter of an inch, add some score tape along the back. And I'm going to line that up here and I decided I once again wanted to add a little bit of an angle to the end of that. So I'll trim that off. And then place that down. I'll add some ATG to the back of that panel and then place that on the inside of the card base. As I was placing that down, I noticed there was a little smudge from the black ink at the top. So I grabbed my sand eraser and just got rid of that. And that will complete card number 10. Here are a few close-ups of the finished cards. In the description box below, you'll find my blog post, which has additional photos and links to the supplies I used. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.